so for David, um, what I devised, because David had a couple questions for me saying that what he was going to be doing differently. Um, so if I was going to find the geometric mean between 4 and 7, what I've already previously talked to you guys about is the geometric mean is when you have your means are exactly the same. So the geometric mean is going to be the product of your extremes, which would be a and b. But it's not going to just be the product. It's going to be the square root of the product. So therefore, if I'm providing you with two values and we want to find the geometric mean, simply all we need to do is say the mean, which I'll just call x, is going to equal the square root of 4 times 7. Fair root x equals the square root of 28. But I do not want your decimal approximation. I would like you to go ahead and simplify your radicals, which we have practiced a little bit with this. So to do that, what I need to do is determine what is the largest number, square number, that divides into 28. And the largest square number, we have 4, 9, 16, 25. 4. OK, well, let's think about that. But I remember it said the biggest square number. So we have to be very careful because if I do square root of 4 times square root of 2, right, can you take the square root of 14? No. Can you take the square root of 2? No. So it doesn't help us out. But square numbers, we have 4, 9, um, 16, 25. Out of those numbers that it's labeled, what is the largest one that divides into 28? 4. four. So what I do is I rewrite this as 4 times 7. Now what's helpful about this, though, is now, can you take the square root of 4? Yeah, you can take the square root of 4, which is 2. So now I can take that outside of the square root. I cannot take the square root of 7. But that is how I'd like to see your answer, 2 square root of 7. In the first place. Huh? Why didn't you just do that in the first place? Where? He's there. saying without putting the first place. Oh, yeah, you could have done that as well. Yeah. I was just showing you how to do the geometric. But yeah, you could have gone from that point on as well. That would have been a good idea. If you can't do it, if you can't work, like let's say it's the square root of 10, then you just leave it at square root of 10. Okay. 